Welcome to a new video tutorial about NetWindow 5. My name is Paul Mays and I'm from the Netherlands. Today I'm going to show you how to use the shapefile editor. First, set up the map by adding some layers. Let's start with enabling a custom tile server from map5.nl and zoom to the Wadasee, a Dutch natural park. Let's create some new shapefile layers. For this exercise, I'll use in-memory layers. We'll be creating points, lines and polygons. Rearrange layers. In the legend, you can see the layers we just created. Rearrange the layers and put the polygons at the bottom. Now it is time to add some data. Select the point layer in the legend, click on the Add Geometry button on the Shapefile Editor toolbar and start adding points by clicking on the map. We've just added some point data. Let's add some line data. Switch to the line layer and add some lines by clicking on the map. Right click to end the line. After adding some point and line data, it is now time to add some polygon data. In the legend, switch to the polygon layer and add some polygons by clicking on the map. And again, right click to add the polygon. Undo and Redo. On the Shapefile Editor toolbar you have at the end two buttons to undo and redo your last action. The hotkey Ctrl Z also works to undo. Move Shapes. Zoom a bit to some of the points. Select the point using the Select tool. Right click and select Move. Drag the point to the new location. Delete Shapes. Select the shape using the Select tool. Right click, select Delete. Undo to restore. Rotate Shapes. Select the shape using the Select tool. Right click and select Rotate. Now drag to rotate the shape. Copy and paste shapes. Select the shape using the select tool. Right click and select copy. Right click again and select paste. The selected shape is now copied and added to the map. Change the line. Select the vertex editor on the shapefile editor toolbar. Click on the line, the vertices are shown. Go to a vertex to select it. It turns into a red square. Click and hold to move the vertex. Add vertex to line. Double click anywhere on the line to add a vertex.
remove vertex from mine. Click on the vertex to select it and hit the delete button on your keyboard to remove the vertex. Zoom to polygons. Go to the legend and right click on the polygon layer. Select zoom to layer to see all polygons of this layer on the map. Change the polygon. Click on the polygon, the vertices are shown. Go to a vertex to select it. It turns into a red square. Click and hold to move the vertex. Add vertex to polygon. Double click anywhere on the outline of the polygon to add a vertex. Remove vertex from polygon. Click on a vertex to select it and hit the delete button on your keyboard to remove the vertex. On the shape file editor toolbar are more buttons. Most of them work on points, lines and polygons. The erase by polygon button. Select the button on the shape file editor toolbar. By drawing a polygon, the geometry underneath will be erased. Clip by polygon. Select the button on the shapefile editor toolbar. By drawing a polygon, the geometry outside will be erased. This is the opposite of erased by polygon. Split by polygon. This can be used to create a hole in the polygon. Select the button on the shapefile editor toolbar. Draw a polygon within the other polygon. Select a new polygon and move it to see the hole. Split by polyline. This works on lines and polygons. Select the button on the shapefile at the toolbar. Draw a line splitting the polygon. Merge shapes. This can be used to remove holes. Drag around the shapes with the select tool to select them. Right click on merge. The selected shapes are now merged into one. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.